Now it's time for our campaign 2018 dinner time debates. Dennis House is out in different communities around the state this week talking to voters to find out what they care most about in this election session. He's joining us live now in Manchester at Shady Glen with more on what people there want the next governor to focus on. Dennis. Denise, good evening. This is a nationally renowned restaurant and it is really full to the rafters. Pretty much every table and booth is taken right now here at Shady Glen. And we've been asking some people what's important to them as they choose our next governor this November. And here's what some of them had to say. Inside at Shady Glen, John and Evelyn Machung are having an early dinner and talking politics. What do you want the next governor to do? I want him to uh, do something about the tax situation. There's too many people moving out of state. Uh, I can understand why they're doing it, not only the taxes, but the cost of living. Outside, another Pratt & Whitney retiree is showing off his 1961 Dodge, once driven by Elvis Presley in the movie Blue Hawaii. Bruce and Betsy Bissonette are also talking politics concerned about their state. I started at Pratt & Whitney as a test engineer. Um, it was, it, was a, it was a fantastic company of 67,000 people here, and uh, now all of a sudden, you know, you're down to a couple thousand people, engineers. Shady Glen regular Santa Velez is voting for the first time and has one requirement for the candidate who will get her vote. I think being trustworthy is the big thing. Making sure that people understand where you're coming from and you can also agree with what they have in mind instead of just making your own choices. Now, obviously, we can't interview every voter in the state, but I'd love to know what you're thinking. You can find me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, and suggest a question that you might want to see us ask the candidates in next week's debate, which, by the way, is not far from here. It's at the Jorgensen Theater. In stores at the University of Connecticut, we'll have three candidates. The Republican Bob Stefanowski, the Democrat Ned Lamont, and unaffiliated candidate Osgrey will also be part of that debate. Our panelists will be Emily Munson of Hearst Media and Christopher Hanna. He's the editor-in-chief of The Daily Campus. That's all coming up next Wednesday. It'll be live on Channel 3 at 7 o'clock and also live on our Facebook page as well. Denise? Dennis, a quick question. You've been at this since Monday, and I know taxes. We hear an awful lot of voters out there saying you must, they have to do something about our taxes. Are there any other recurring themes you're hearing? Well, there are three things that I'm hearing, taxes, taxes, and taxes. But yeah. seriously, more people are complaining about the car tax to me than the income tax. They don't know why it's a system that we have here in Connecticut. Many people who move from other states don't have a car tax. So they buy a car, and then they pay a sales tax, and then they get a, a tax bill from their town. They want to know why it is in West Hartford that you pay half of what people in Hartford pay. So that's one of the big complaints we're hearing. We're also hearing about tolls. Most people are okay with tolls that I have spoken to. They say that they only want them at the borders, though, because they already pay them to New York, and they pay them to Massachusetts, so they'd like to see Connecticut get some of that money. They're frowning upon the idea of taxes in between the state. Like if you travel from Hartford to New Haven to have a toll on that, they don't want to see that happen.